Sega 12, fully converted, full competition job. Um, this is my typical build. Um, anyways, I'll start at the back. Again, um, I usually do the AR-15 stock conversion on the back of these with the mag pull. Um, I put a folder knuckle in them where you can collapse your shotgun down. Um, again, the telescope and AR-15 stock. Pistol grip, I do an internal receiver block. I always do a custom Cerakote job on these. Um, I manufacture the uh, extended mag release and the charging handle on these. Um, let's see, I completely redo the internals inside. I uh, do the main spring with a competition main spring. I do a low recoil spring. I do a Delrin rod guide with a performance rod, a lot, lot tighter tolerances. Um, I always added the skull on, or I can typically, I can add other stuff as well. Um, now, um, sometimes Sega's again, they're problematic with the gas and systems on them. I always either add a fourth port or open the ports up inside of these, um, to give more gas going through the tube. Um, Chaos, they probably make the best looking stuff on Sega's Chaos Quad Rail. Chaos muzzle brake. Um, again, I reprofile carriers. I reprofile the bolts. <clears throat> um, reprofile the hammer. Um, this one does have a 10 round magazine with it, but I'm going to go ahead and just run a five rounder through it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put it into action a little bit and show you guys what they can do when I'm done building with them. So, anyways, I'll hand it over to my associate. Let him film where we're going to be shooting at. Just got a microwave downrange, pretty close up. We're going to go ahead and just pump five rounds into it. So, here we go. Clear. So again, five rounds out of the Sega. Um, I was using real low bird shot. You just go to Walmart and buy your $20 brand bird or a $20 pack of the 100 round bird shot. Um, typically, these Segas don't run that stuff. Um, after I get done with them, they'll usually run them quite, you know, pretty much problem problem free. But uh, other than that, Sega 12.